Hi, I'm Amber Lynn Reed. I am 27 years old and I am 529 pounds. I'm sure you have seen the comments and you've seen the videos. I'm not a liar, I'm not a deceiver, and I don't manipulate people. I do YouTube for a living and I was in foster care until the age of 18. In school, I was known as Fat Amber. On YouTube, I'm known as the most hated YouTuber. I don't cry for views. I don't eat for views. I'm not a narcissist. I am a lesbian. If I could be anywhere right now, I'd probably lay in a field of sunflowers and just look up at the sky and ask why. Why me? When I lay down at night with my head on the pillow, I wonder if I'll wake up. Hi, if you've been on YouTube or the internet before, you've probably seen or at least heard of weight loss channels. People on a weight loss journey and wanting to share that journey with their followers. Which is the focus of today's video. Amberlynn Reed, born in 1989, struggling with her weight all her life, she started a YouTube channel. She uploaded her first video in 2013, hoping to lose weight and inspire others to do the same. My name's Amber Lynn and I wanted to start um, a YouTube channel for weight loss. I see a lot of videos of other people doing it and it's so motivating. She was on the right track. She was exercising, she was counting calories, but if she was successful, well, I wouldn't be making this video. Now reaction channels are nothing new on YouTube. I think it's crazy that someone can take another person's content and turn it into their own. Why am I bringing this up? Because this woman has a whole community of YouTubers reacting to her videos. Kidding. You guys are in my plant, which is a fake plant, so don't worry, I'm not, you know, harming plants right now. I just literally have nowhere to put you guys. Like, no, you are such a fucking lie. You are such, I had literally nowhere to, you have filmed in this bathroom before and I had to put us in a fucking plant. Are you serious? I almost like sparkly ones that say Barbie because my shirt also says Barbie. I love Barbie things. I just think the aesthetic's super cute. Has anyone seen the movie yet? Um, <laughs> I still look at that Barbie shirt and I remember the scandal from last year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you guys missed that episode, basically, Amber Lynn did this thing last year where she was <laughs> she was wearing this Barbie. Sh More than that, there are hour long documentaries on Amber Lynn, and not only that, but also channels dedicated to exposing her. As you should know by now, Amber doesn't have a good reputation on this platform. Tell you why in a minute. With all the documentaries and iceberg videos done about her, I don't think I can say anything that hasn't already been said, but here I go anyway. This is what people in the community would call the Amberverse. When we look at Amber Lynn, we have to ask ourselves what went wrong. At the very beginning of her channel, she was dating and living with her then-girlfriend, Krista. Amber's first few videos, she comes off very soft-spoken and shy. In a video talking about her weigh-in, she says, um, 34 times. I counted. Um, hi everyone. Um, so, I did my weigh-in and I was right on point. I was 368 .0. Um, this will be my first weigh-in on this channel, um, but just to clarify that my highest was 420, so I've lost 52 pounds. Um, at one point, I was 331, so it was a lot more weight loss, but I did gain. Um, it happens, I just wanted to stop. Um, and if you see me looking down, it's because I wrote down some of the things I want to talk about, so I won't forget. I get nervous in front of the camera. Um, first off, I just want to thank everybody for your comments. They were very, very nice. Um, it's very motivating and inspiring to see all these people trying to lose weight themselves, and just thank you for watching my first video. Um, it was a mess, and I'm sure my other videos will be too. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not used to talking in front of the camera and it's just, yeah, I'm pretty shy with that. Um, I hope this video isn't gonna be all over the place, but I did want to talk about what I'm, what I'm doing to lose weight. Um, I'm actually gonna do a calorie limit of 1700 calories. Um, let me just say that in a very long time, um, I haven't gone a single day without eating over 2000 calories. Um, there's some days where I even ate over 3000. Um, I can simply admit that I'm a food addict. Um, it's just, it's how I became 420 pounds in the beginning of. I turned to food for emotional reasons. Um, food was always there for me, you know? Um, but I really, really want to lose weight, and I know it's the healthier option, I know it's hard, but I feel like in a way it's hard to mess up too, because, you know, sometimes I eat so much I get sick. So it's kind of like, um, would I rather lose weight and it be hard, or would I rather just keep gaining weight and it be hard? It's an even question, but 
these are seven done, but I'm gonna try to get them to do this and it's just, it needs to happen. I'm 22 years old and be 23 in December. <laughs> um, I just, I can't keep going the wrong route. I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> um, also, I hate exercising. I, I want to be one of those people who love to exercise, but no, I hate it. I hate it. I try to find things that I love doing and exercise, but I just hate it so much. <laughs> but, um, for this whole week, I will be doing 15 minutes of dancing every day. Um, I feel like it's better than nothing and it's a start. So, um, yeah, that'll be what I'm doing for, um, the first week and we'll see how it goes. Um, if you're wondering, yes, this is me without makeup <laughs> and my hair is wet because I did just get out of the shower. Um, but I think that's all I really have to say for now. Um, if I can, I'm gonna attach another video to this one about what I had for breakfast because I wanted to share. <laughs> um, I don't really know how to merge videos, so I have to kind of practice with that. I'm hoping I can figure it out. So if, if there isn't me, if there isn't a video of me talking about what I have for breakfast, then I think I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> so hopefully this works. <laughs> but um, I just want to thank you all for watching. And, um, yeah, and if I keep looking down and looking over all this, because I'm not used to this, <laughs> but I will get better, I promise. Um, I just want to thank you so much for watching and continue watching and subscribe wherever it's at on the bottom. <laughs> um, but I think that's it for now. Thanks, bye. When she wasn't talking about her weight loss journey, if you can even call it that, she would do fun things like the ice bucket challenge and playing Animal Crossing new. Character, isn't she adorable? Like in this game, you uh, sell fish and insects and just random stuff. But in 2015, Ember announced she and Crystal have broken up. But it's okay, she seemed to have moved on rather quickly. She found a new girlfriend, Destiny. As we could see throughout her vlogs, her and Destiny are shown going out to eat a lot. They went to Walmart a lot while riding the scooters. In a video titled Everything I Lied About, she addresses everything she lied about. But these things aren't really worth lying. It seems like she's just lying for no reason. But the reason why we moved to Kentucky, I said it's because Destiny wanted to be there for her mom. I said we wanted to take care of her. I think I might have said that in a vlog. I don't know why, but it's not the truth. We were just tired of Florida, honestly. I mean, mainly Destiny was, we, her mainly, she just felt kind of like it was time to move on from Florida. You know, some things were happening that she just wasn't happy about and she wanted a new beginning. Probably, I don't know, it was months ago. Months, to be honest. When I uploaded a video about how my aunt doesn't talk to me anymore because I'm fat. I ended up talking to her and my cousins regarding that video. I had no idea they were gonna see it. I had no my no idea my aunt even watched my YouTube anymore or anything and they were greatly offended. If you've seen any editing throughout this clip, that was done by me. This video is known as her most trolling video because of one line. Like this video is so raw you guys. Fuck. This video is so raw, you guys. Fuck. This is a famous quote in the Amberverse. Even though she's trying to sound upset and fake cry, she's actually smiling as she says this. This is around the time she started eating on camera. In other words, mukbanging. Mukbangs trend on YouTube. And Amber must have caught on about this. But in these earlier mukbang videos, there was a lot of trolling, saying things to get a rise out of people. The Captain Crunch's berry time. Um, it is past 3 a.m. and I haven't eaten all day. Such a bad habit. But I'm on a pill to help me like curb my appetite or whatever. And it's kind of helping to the point where I kind of have to like force myself to eat right now. I really don't want to eat. Like I don't. But I haven't eaten today at all. And that's not good. Um, I've been awake for five hours. I need to get something in my... System. A lot of people says she eats on camera for views or to gain more weight to keep people watching. Rather this is true or not is up for debate. Watching these videos, it would seem she has no intention of losing weight. But there was time she would hint at weight loss plans during these mukbangs. Mmm. I have a dietitian, y'all. But eventually, Amber announced another breakup. 
It wasn't long before she found another partner though. Around 2018, we were introduced to her new girlfriend, Becky. They moved in and they even had roommates that they lived with, Eric and Ricky. Yeah, the mukbangs continued, but Amber and Becky had the same goal, to lose weight. They would come on here and talk about their weight loss journey together, and they would exercise together. They even did mukbangs together. In 2020, she made a video in which she had been diagnosed with cancer. I do have cancer, I have womb, cancer. This is her most viewed video, by the way. Following this, she made a couple videos trying to prove she really had cancer. Due to so many people speculating, she might have had lied about the whole thing. Here's your proof. Here's an actual medical record. And if you can't read, I'll read it to you. I don't know how to pronounce big doctor words. Um, so, excuse me. This 29-year-old presents today for follow-up after total abdominal hysterectomy, bilateral salpingo vericotomy on July 15, 2020, with final pathology showing stage 1B, grade 2, endometrial cancer. But there you go. You got your medical proof. Now you would think this would be a wake-up call for Amber. Maybe she would finally lose the weight and get healthy. I don't know a lot of my family, but I do know the only healthy thing was the roasted wings. And that's what I was looking forward to, but they didn't have them. Two sushi rolls and they're usually like the bigger rolls. Eating several times a day is more filling and satisfying than eating twice. My camera was actually about to die. And I love how white this chicken is. In 2021, Amber and Becky moved and found an apartment. She announced her and Becky were engaged. The following videos after this, Amber Lynn seemed happy about the thought of being married to Becky. But people in the comments were quick to point out she didn't seem as happy as she portrayed. We would later find out the audience was right, because on June 9th, 2021, on livestream, they announced the breakup. During this time, Amber was in a feud with a channel called Young Dumb Honey Bun, now called The Unpopular Opinion with Sarah. She used to be a reaction channel who covered Amber Lynn Reed and Amber hated her. I wondered what happened to Sarah, but when I looked into this, I discovered all of her Amber reaction videos have been taken down, likely by her. As it turned out, she was getting some backlash for what is unclear. We all seen her walk. She waddles. But maybe that's because her feet are crooked. Look at the way she's walking. Look at this. I, I never seen anyone walk like this before. I'm just saying that her feet, um, they're like this, like she, she's walking like this with her, with, with her feet out, like, like this instead of this way, and I just found that a little bit weird. I can tell haters really get to her, because there's been a couple times she went on Snapchat to rant about certain things that has been said about her. You guys need to literally do your research. And stop putting words in my mouth because when you do that, you make the rumors go like on a viral note and everyone believes it. But then again, that's for your entertainment, right? That's all part of this process, isn't it? Trying to write Amberlynn's story, Amberlynn's truth, Amberlynn's narrative, trying to create the story of her life that isn't real to suit your guys' entertainment literally pathetic and I will go to my grave saying that majority of you are fucking idiots 
and I have realized I'm so much better than majority of you. And I am talking about the fucking haters, not my supporters. I love you. Amber has three pets, Twinkie the dog, Rarity the cat, and Wasabi the other cat. People accuse her of being a bad pet owner for not taking her pets to the vet when they need it. Now since she's been on YouTube, she had done many diets. Her starting weight was 368 pounds. Her highest recorded weight is 572. People joke around a lot and call her channel a weight gain channel, but to her credit, she lost 72 pounds a couple years ago. As of this video, she currently lives in Kentucky. She's around 500 pounds. She has a new girlfriend who she doesn't show on camera, and she's awaiting weight loss surgery. Majority of you are fucking idiots.